welcome to the panoramic train. This is probably the most expensive train you can buy here in Indonesia. Oh my God, <laughs> Good morning guys from Bandung. 6 a.m. here, very early start here to catch a train to Jakarta. We're about to check in, grab our tickets. Let's go ahead and do that now. Now this isn't our first train video. We've done quite a few of these actually and they all just happen to be in Bandung. I don't know why that is. Last time we did a business class seat. This time we have found an even more expensive train and it's not even a business class seat. So we're taking a panoramic train which I didn't even know existed here in Indonesia. Uh, we're gonna be taking the morning train up to Jakarta and uh, this will be a great experience. I never knew Indonesia had a panoramic train like this so this will be great views uh, going through the countryside from Bandung to Jakarta. I think after this, we have done every single train here in Indonesia. How, how, how are you gonna fly? That was very quick. We got on and we're already on our way. So don't be late. Immediately as soon as we got on the train, we've gotten a goodie bag here with some snacks, looks like, some water, some drinks. I got a brownie. This is chocolate brownie. It's kind of thick. And then I also got strawberry muffins. So we're about to go through a tunnel any minute second here. Second largest, second longest in Indonesia. And just like that, it just got super dark in here. This has been an awesome experience so far, I think. Um, is it worth 450k? I think so. It's a really cool ride. Clean windows. So if you're a YouTuber, you're a videographer, then this is the one for you. beautiful valley down below with the river now unfortunately I would have never known about this unless Catania had told me because all of the announcements on these trains so far has been in Bahasa Indonesia so unless you speak Bahasa Indonesia you wouldn't know that hey we're about to cross the river get your phone ready get your camera ready or hey we're about to go through a tunnel get your camera ready if you want to get a video all of the announcements have been in Indonesian so just something for you to know Wow, look at this view. So now that we've been on the train for quite a bit, let me give you guys a seat tour. So we've got quite a lot of leg room. I can almost fully extend here, which is great. Got a seat pocket here. Beautiful panoramic windows. Here we've got a recliner to recline the seats and we do have a small little tray here for food and overlooking the beautiful countryside. Overall there's really not much to it to this seat. It's pretty basic. You're really mainly paying for this ticket to get the beautiful views of the rice fields out here in the morning. I think we booked a great time here. We booked early morning sunrise. We're here during dry season, so of course there's not a single cloud out here. It's absolutely amazing. And we booked the left side of the train, seat number 3C and 3B. Well guys, we're back in Jakarta, about two and a half hours later. That was an amazing experience on the panoramic train here. I think it's worth it for 50K. If you have some good weather, you're gonna get some great views. And as you guys can see, the rest of the train is pretty much standard. Ah, we missed out on the dining cart as well. Yeah, we could have gone there. So guys, while Kentania is going to go check us into our hotel, I'm going to go to my embassy. I have to get a few paperwork documents filled out and then we'll show you the hotel that we're staying at here in Jakarta.
<laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> well, this room does not look... Well, I guess it looks similar, but it's rough around the edges. So here's the bathroom. So tiny. Nothing special with the bathroom. Got our little coffee and tea. I have no idea what these are. I've never seen pillows like this. Well, at least we have a view of downtown Jakarta. Got a tiny little working desk area, TV, and a pretty, oh, there's our pillows. I found them. So we're gonna go ahead and relax, unpack our stuff here. Uh, we gotta get ready for our flight tomorrow. And uh, this evening we're gonna go out to the street markets here. We haven't gone to the street markets in Jakarta in quite a long time. So we'll see how different it is. And uh, we'll grab some Indonesian street food here before we head out to our next country. We are now at Block M. We're trying to get food. Currently, they have really famous street food in this area, and I and Alex never been here. So we're gonna end the night here at this street food uh, court, food court area. Uh, we found some tacos. We're gonna try some tacos on the streets. I don't know if that's gonna be the best bet because we're traveling tomorrow, but we'll find out in the morning. And uh, we've got some satay Thai cha. Tai Chan. Tai Chan. Um, this is something we've got not pretty often in Bali. So we found it here on the street as well. So we've gone ahead and ordered all of that. Uh, together we paid almost about 80k for everything. Um, so we're just waiting for the food to come out now. Okay. So we got our first meal of the night. This is the Sate Tai Chan and it's very spicy. So if you don't like spicy, don't you ever try it. Here's the lime on the chicken and then dip, 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 dip. Little bit of this and this one. Mm. Oh my god! So spicy, <laughs> but so good. It's so fresh. It's so sour and very spicy. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> as I'm crying about right now, I'm starting to get used to the Indonesian spice here. As we casually sit in the parking lot here, this is like. Stereotypical Indonesia right now, eating street food in the parking lot. Yeah, uh, taco. So, this is our second meal, the tacos. It's called fried tacos. I ordered the chicken. I thought at first it's gonna be really small portion. It has to be, it's good, but of course it's not real tacos. <laughs> We've had real tacos. In Vegas, it was the best tacos I've ever tried. They forgot something though, mm. they forgot the lime. Oh yeah, yeah. Mine is the mozzarella. See some corn in there. It's much thinner than yours. It tastes like a typical American quesadilla. Not the not the worst, but not the best. It's pretty good. I mean, it's only a dollar. One dollar Friday taco. Mmm. I'm good though. Overall, guys, really good. Saute was absolutely amazing, and the tacos were pretty good as well. Place is called Taco Fried if you want to come here. The chicken taco was much better than my beef taco. And uh, yeah, she had it. That was a good one. I recommend the chicken instead. Um, and the saute was exceptional, amazing. Uh, so the best. Yeah, the saute is right next Those door. Those kind of food that we know that we won't get food poisoning for sure. Yeah. Because it's really clean. Yeah, it's really clean there. Uh, so great place, recommend it. Yeah. Have you tried the lot of gulu? So it's like omelette, but on a stick. Only Indonesian will think of this. This is how it looks like. It's more of like appetizer. I'm gonna let Alex trying this because he has never ever tried telur gulung. Like, how come? How come we've never tried this? <laughs> Revolutionary right here. Egg on a stick. Just like eggs. <laughs> I don't know how much else I can describe this. It's an egg on a stick. <laughs> It is very practical actually. Yeah. If you want an egg, this is the way to go. The fact that they've even put what hot sauce at the bottom? Yeah. Watered down hot sauce absolutely describes Indonesia for you right there. You, you gotta have spicy sauce on the side of anything here in Indonesia. Do you want this this big? So much. Too much. Gak bisa satu aja ya. Sangat sempurna. Terima kasih.
It's a <laughs> cotton candy, Indonesian version. Let's try it here. I like it better than any other cotton candy because the texture is more of like hair. Wow. It's less sweeter than a cotton candy. The texture is like a floss. Wow. I don't know how they make this. This is so interesting. It was only 4K. We paid 4K for one. How much was the pack? Like 13. 13, so better value. I can imagine the, the children coming out of school and buying a pack of these. So one thing that I realized going to street food here, it's similar to the one in Vietnam. But the one in Vietnam, of course, you have a lot of beers while here, it's more of like eating. And smoking. And smoking. And pollution. And pollution. Just describe Jakarta in three words. Street food, smoking, pollution. <laughs> yeah, and traffic. You can't forget the traffic. No, 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 no. It's uh, street food, pollution. Street food, pollution, traffic, yeah. If you guys saw my transportation in Jakarta video, you guys will know how much I love the MRT system here. It's so clean, so efficient, and quick there. Much quicker than all the traffic in Jakarta. Using the metro here in Jakarta is much easier than Sydney. There's I'm, only one route. I know, it's only one route in Central. <laughs> you're either going north or you're either going south. So you only have two options, so you can't really mess up. So for now, at least, that's the system here in Jakarta. It's, it's very yeah. simple and easy, it's but... It's nice, yeah. But very modernized. Yeah, it's very modern. But once they add more lines here in the future, then you'll have to pay more attention. But, I mean, look at this. Not a single person here. Clean, modern. The amount of times that they said Bundaran Hai uh, was just insane. I, I think I counted maybe like 30 times on the train, maybe more. They probably did it all for the foreigners specifically because all the foreigners say Bundaran Hai instead like of what bu Alex like did. what I do instead of uh, Bundaran Hai E. So I think they did that specifically so all the foreigners know how to pronounce it. So now you got that stuck in your head the entire train ride. Well guys, that is going to conclude our night in Jakarta. Tomorrow we are flying out of here. We won't be back in Indonesia for another month or so. It will be a long travel month ahead of us. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment down below any questions about coming here to Jakarta on the train that we did. The panoramic was absolutely amazing. I would recommend it to you guys taking it here uh, from Bandung. It is so loud in Jakarta here tonight. So I'll see you guys in the next one and next videos are going to be from Thailand. Peace.